Hi guys, Steffi here and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I've decided to do something different. I've decided to come on and do a box with you. And this measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and it is two and a half deep. Yeah. And I got I was inspired by this by a project I'd seen on um Facebook and it's by a lady called Michelle McCarthy. She's on a few design teams, I believe, and she honestly she just makes some beautiful, beautiful things. Now she made something like this, and um, but hers was bigger. I think hers was nine by nine, and the boxes inside were different. So I'll just give you a little bit of a. So that's just the side there. I'm just going to show you it first. And that's the inside of the lid. This paper's gorgeous. I love these papers. I'm right into me digital stuff at the moment, and then it's like an explosion box. So that comes down like that. On Michelle's boxes, she had, I think she had a row of four by four, um, but hers was smaller than mine, and also her sides were taller as well. And hers, when you open them, hers were like an explosion box, where I've kept mine, so the fully formed boxes. You could put some nice shred in there, add a few gifts, and then give this to the whoever you want to, really. You could fill it with loads of little treats for the birthday, do a Christmas-themed one, like little lip balms, a bath bomb, um, you know, the little mini hand gels might fit in here um and yeah i just really liked it because then i thought after you've used the gift then you can use this to saw something else or you could just use it for storage you would have sequins flowers you know just loads of little things like that so i absolutely love this absolutely really really do um i'll pop it to one side because i'm going to give you a quick show of some of the papers that i printed out from this it's from a shop on etsy I mean, look, the colours. This one is called Luna, I believe, this collection. Just a quick flick. I mean, look at them all. Absolutely stunning. I've printed these out on 120 GSM paper. And these are printed out really nice. I've had to fit them to page because they are 12 by 12. I mean, look at that. Absolutely stunning. This is not just one kit. It is a couple of kits. Um, so there's two paper packs. Then there was one for the clip art. You'll get the planner clip art. But she did have an offer on where it was 50% off. And that's when I got these. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to give you a quick fit. They're absolutely stunning. Even, I mean, look at the subtleness of that. And it's printed out so well. The same with like, that one as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. I will try and leave the link to the shop below in the description box if any of you are interested. I'm in no way affiliated. I don't, I'm not, like, I don't get anything for, you know, promoting this. Or anything like that i'm just showing you what i've used because i know a lot of people do like these sort of colors i mean they're just so beautiful absolutely gorgeous and then this one is actually one of the clip arts well it's like the project life type cards and i just printed out bigger but look at that the quibbler absolutely amazing absolutely stunning and then i did go ahead and i did cut out a few pieces of do some of the clip art so we've got the quibbler I've done them a little bit smaller. I think I've got a smaller size even still. Best thing about your digital collections is that you can um, resize them. So that's the same flower there. I've just done it in two different sizes. Absolutely beautiful. You've got the paint palette. You've got the, a wand. You've got a pencil. I mean, I've sat and fussy cut all of these out. They're not hard. Um, you've got the paint brush. I mean, I haven't even printed out all, all of them. You get the little paint um, tubes there as well. So these are just a few of the bits that I've used for this collection. So I just thought I'd show you it. And I will be, the tutorial will follow um, straight away after this, once I get this back on. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, so yeah, and that just goes back on like that. I haven't done the back. Um, so if you want to find out how to make one of these then please stay tuned and it's coming now right so now that you've seen the project that we're going to be making um, I'm going to show you what you need okay so we're going to start off with the main box and for this you're going to need a piece that measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter you don't need to do no scoring on this part okay so you just need one of those the next one that you will need is the sides and you need four of these and these measure eight and a quarter by three 
and then on the short side just pop it in and score it at a half of an inch I'll leave that there so you can see so we're going to do this bit first so let's just take off these pieces just want to fold and burnish on these score lines and um, this card I'm using is some of my old um, stamping up um, card I was just I'm trying like I said on a previous video I'm trying to use up some of my card and um, that's been sat there for ages and this color I love this color this is the island indigo and um, I got it when I was stamping up them straight a, a long time ago now um, I don't know if it's still available, so I can't actually um, advise you of that. Um, but yeah, so you just want to fold and burnish, and then we're just going to apply some tape. I'm just using three eighths of an inch. I'm just going to pop that on. How's everyone doing today on this windy Sunday? It's very windy here. It's quite warm as well, though, with it. Um, if it wasn't for the wind, it would be a gorgeous day outside. Um, so yeah, I've decided um, to make this. It's been a long time since I've made any boxes of any sort of thing. And this one was inspired by a lovely lady called Michelle McCarthy. McCarthy. Um, she's got a page on Facebook and she's, she does some design teamwork as well. Hers was a little bit bigger than mine um, and her boxes inside were smaller and she also had them where the boxes inside were like a little explosion box as well and looked really nice. She used a Chow Bella, I think it was the Tango paper. She has it all on her Facebook page as well. Really, really brilliant. She does some beautiful, beautiful things. So that's where this one's been inspired by um, for like the makeup of it. Um, but the boxes for the inside I've kept you know just solid um so yeah that's where this has come from so then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to notch on that tab just like that i just find it, it it's a little bit easier um and ensures that you don't have any of the sides um poking out so it looks a lot neater um, so it takes two more minutes now I'm um, trying to get this done. I've made the other project that I was going to, I was planning on bringing you before this one. It's still a half finished project at the moment. Um, does any of you get like that? I have got quite a, couple, a few of um, half finished projects on the go at the moment. Um, I'm saying I'm a nightmare. But sometimes I just, I just don't know. I'd like, I look at them and I just can't see what I want to do. Um, I've got the basis of it done, I just need to work out measurements, I need to tweak some measurements a little bit if I'm going to be bringing it out to you on a video, um, so it's quite a big project. Right, so that's all of those done. So next you want to bring in your base, and all I'm going to do, a bit like what I do when I'm attaching like pages or my flaps onto mini albums, I'll just take a little bit off here okay, and then I'm just going to line this up edge to edge just make sure that it's nice and flush and then press that down and then just take off the release paper obviously you can use glue if you'd rather use glue for this part that is completely up to you you could round the corners on here um, I've got to bring my corner rounder up so I won't be um, rounding the corners on any of mine. Um, would look nice, the rounded corner as well. So then you just line it up on each of those sides. Just nicely. Oh, where's my tape gone? My tape back and it was on this side. Would help if I took that bit off. <laughs> Oh, what am I like? What am I like? Um, so, yeah, just line up, press that bit down, keep that bit in place, and then just pull. 
and then we're just going to go all the way around not, i was going to pause it but i'll just do it with you so it isn't going to take me too long um so yeah so this is quite a nice box at first when i first decided to do it my prototypes downstairs um the boxes on the inside is so wonky it's unbelievable um and at first i was thinking oh my god this is going to be really flimsy i don't know if i'm going to like it but then when you've got all of the boxes on the inside i just i just really liked it and my thought is that um i've left the sides as an explosion box like michelle did um because i just thought it's easier to get into some of the um some of the boxes and put the lids and stuff back on and also you could give this to a gift as a gift to somebody but then you can also the recipient after they've used the gifts that's inside they could use it to store different things so it could be you have some handmade flowers and you want to put a few handmade flowers in each one or you want to do some sequins um or anything like that but there we go look how quick and easy that came together now i have cut a piece of paper for this um i don't know if i'm going to use it I think I probably will. It's more to help me line up the boxes, so you won't see much of this paper. This one measures, I'll write it down for anybody who wants to know. This one is 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8 for this paper. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Um, I was just thinking that it might give me. A little bit more to go on rather than trying to eyeball it because I'm not really one for measuring where the boxes go you know I'll measure to a certain extent but yeah I tried to do it really really neatly on my prototype and it didn't work <laughs> it was it did a lot a lot of it but then I had about two boxes where they were so out it was unbelievable and you just couldn't do anything with it so we're just going to line this in here it should just be a tiny should be a tiny tiny little border if you get it in right i think i'm just going to use my bone folder this paper goes so beautifully with this color and because i want to use this color and i was like i need to use this one it's one of um three kits well the way actually in parts so i bought like the pa basic paper then the different scrapbooking paper they were on offer um, but they're not anymore, unfortunately. Um, next, we might as well go ahead and mat these. So I've got four for the outside and I've got four for the inside. And these measure eight by two and a quarter. So uh, these are just going to go on here like that. And then the other ones on the front. So I will pause it here because you don't want to watch me put all of these pieces of paper down. So I'll be right back. Right, so that's all of these, the sides covered. That's just the base. And then this is the inside. So when it all shuts up, this is what's going to be on the outside. Um, I would say as well, when you're doing these, if you've got a directional pattern, just bear that in mind and just work out which way is going to be better for you, okay? So now that we've done that, I'm just going to pop that to one side. I'm going to do the lid. And you will need a piece of 12 by 12 um, for the lid. Um, and I'm really sorry about the measurements because this is 11 and 5 sixteenths by 11 and 5 sixteenths. And then what you want to do on all of the four sides, you want to score it at half an inch and then one and a half inches. So just hold that up there so you can see. Um, for all of you who don't really know about the sixteenths, if you've got a trimmer, just bring mine in. Right, okay, so... You've got your two, your two and an eighth, a quarter, three eighths. So these tiny little lines here in between, that's your sixteenth. So for eleven and five sixteenths, you just count one, two, three, four, five. So it's the sixteenth in between a quarter of an inch and three eighths of an inch. Okay. So it's really easy, or you can just leave a little bit. So then after you've scored on all of the four sides there we're just going to fold and burnish and the reason for all of the score lines is because on the lids for this one 
and the lids for the mini boxes i've reinforced them just to give them a little bit more strength um so yeah so just going to quickly go ahead if anyone who's made these before you know exactly what i'm doing um if you know right where you're cutting away then feel free to skip past this part um i honestly don't mind um so yeah i really do love this paper collection i really really do i'm right into me digitals at the moment um i bought the alice in wonderland number two from snap click supply um the collection oh my god it is so beautiful and a really good price for everything you got the papers you got the ephemera you got quite a bit and then last night i did order the new echo park witches and wizards it's stunning oh i can't wait for that right <clears throat> so now we're going to do a bit of cutting so you've got your four little pieces here you want to cut up up to the second score line and then you want to cut up the second score line again turn it round and just notch that bit in you just basically want to make these into a tab so just cut that off and then just tab tab and then a tiny little piece off that bit as well and we're going to do exactly the same on all four corners um, been that long since i forgot a box when i was doing this i actually nearly forgot what i was doing because it like i said it's been so long since i've done a box i'm not a big box maker to be fair um you all know i do prefer me tns and i also prefer doing my albums as well and um, me tns i do love doing them they come together so easily and they just turn out they just always turn out so pretty as well if you find yourself a nice paper pad and that's all you really need um so yeah i have also been thinking about um really starting to think about making things to maybe sell either on etsy or or just on my channel i don't actually know um i've had people saying to me for a while now that i should make i should try selling some of my stuff but you know i get worried because you know i'm my own worst critic I really am when I do my crafting and I worry that if I made something for somebody especially if it was a custom order that you know I'd make it and then they'd turn around and say that they hated it they didn't like it it wasn't what they wanted um so I don't know I mean I've been thinking about it for a while but you know I'd, I just don't know to be honest but if I do I'd like to hear your thoughts on it and stuff like that and um, what do you think I'm just being chicken or <laughs> yeah that's it basically but yeah, I'll let you know on what I do decide to do in the future. Right, so when you've cut it out, it will look like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop some glue on these tabs and we're going to join this together. Whoops. And obviously, as you can see, I'm just using my art glitter glue here. Any glue would be fine. You could even use your tape if you wanted. I do use this one and I've also got my tonic glue as well, my tonic craft there, uh, tacky glue I think it's called. Um just get a bit of glue off there. So then all you want to do, it's quite a big thing, so you fold that tab in and then just fold this up. Just make sure that they're flush. And then you can get in with your bone folder and just squish that down. And then just work your way around. Just make sure that that is a nice flush um, side. So I'm just going to hold it a little bit, just to, let, especially when you're using glue, um, just to let it um, let it catch. And then again. On this one, and just make sure you press that right in. So then we've got these little tabs. So all we're going to do with these is attach some glue, and then we're going to fold them in, just to give that the edge of the box is just that little bit more strength. Just put glue on them all, and then hopefully I'll work quick enough where I can get them all done. 
might make a couple of these for people for Christmas to pop some little goodies inside because I, like I said I love the fact you could make the boxes different sizes as well um, I was totally meant with the idea of doing one where um, you do a box big enough to fit like a journal in and then you could have like another box to put some little goodies that they can use in the journal or the TN or something like that so I don't know yet so we just want to push that in and obviously you can see it just wants to come up and just make sure you're pressing that down you're burnishing it really well and then just carry on going I'm not going to pause it I'm sorry figures if you stop me you want to watch us burnishing down you feel free to skip past this part honestly I know it's not very exciting time I think sometimes um, yeah I asked just before on a few videos ago if there's anything you'd like to see me try making if there's anything that you'd like to see me make on my channel then please honestly don't um, don't be shy if you can think of anything um, then honestly just let me know and if I can I've told you before if I can make something if I can do it then I will I will come on and I will try and do that Oh, this one isn't in properly, so let's just burnish that. Might have to put some more glue on this piece. I'll just see if another good burnish. There we go. I think that's done. So now, while this is like this, I'm going to decorate it. So I've gotten some pieces of paper, and these are eight by eight, and um, that's going to be on the inside. So we'll just quickly go ahead. Actually, I'll show you what else I've got. And then I've got these because I like quite a big border. So I'm going to pop these on the inside like that. And I've got some to go on the outside. And these measure, I think it's three quarters of an inch. Yeah, so these measure three quarters of an inch by eight. And then the one that I'm going to be popping on the front of our box is this one. So again, I'm going to pause it, stick these all down and then I'll come back. Right, so I've got all of them on. Now I've got the sides here and then that's the inside of the box so let's make sure that it'll fit it can be a bit tricky with one hand oops let me knock is there obviously they will go in a little bit more than what they should do let's get the one so that is our box oh i need to put some more glue down there but I just love it I think it looks so cute so now for the inside boxes so you're going to need for the box base you're going to need nine of these if you're doing the same as same size as me and it'd be seven and a half by seven and a half and then score on all four sides at two and a half and then for the lid you're going to need nine of these as well and these need to measure five and nine sixteenths by five and nine sixteenths and then score on all four sides at half and one and a half inches. So we'll just quickly go ahead and just fold and burnish all of obviously I have done eight already because I wasn't gonna um do nine on camera with you. Um that would be a, a lot very boring. Um and obviously I don't want it to be boring for you. Um but yeah. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I will try and find the link to the shop where that I got these papers from. Oh, I got some beautiful. I got these ones, which is like the the Luna set. Um, I got some ones called Portions, and then I got some called Lupin as well. But I did have to buy all of the bits individually. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we'll cut the base first. So on each side you want to cut up that score line and then I like to rotate it and then cut up there again, rotate and then last one rotate again and then like that. 
then on each of these flaps you, you don't need all of that i've put mine down to about half of an inch and then just tab these sides you just want to do the same on all of these flaps that we've pulled apart um, if you have all the prep work done these can come together relatively quickly to be fair um, I've cut and prepped all of my other boxes, which I'll show you in a second, um, last night. I've set much some telly and, yeah, I just cut them all first. had a bit of a production line going on, um, which I find is the best way. So then, once that one's done, it will look like that. And then your lid, you just want to cover it in exactly the same way that we've done for the box the main box lid so i'll pause it do that and i'll come back i'll put this together and then i'll come back right so i've done the lid in exactly the same way that we've done the big one i cut it and put it together this piece of paper i think measures yep yeah, two and a quarter by two and a quarter and what i've done was i cut them out from all of the same sheet so i'd get like a continuous picture so now, just to put this together, so you just want to put glue on all of your tabs there for the base. I really do love this. I just like the idea of the fact that you could use this storage as well. Um, I'm, I've decided I don't think I'm going to decorate um, the top of the box, mainly because I don't know what I want to do. So again with the other one, as if you're doing a box, just line them up so they're nice and straight. And then just keep on going round. Now sometimes you get this, this little bit here where it's a little bit of it goes a different size. I don't let that bother me too much. My boxes are never perfect. Like again, you can see it there. Got that little overlip there. But the the lid still goes on okay. Um like I said, I've never been the best at mating cards. Uh, mating cards, well, mating cards as well. Um, but at mating boxes, I've never been, like, the best. I do my little best. So now, hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed. We might need to just wiggle it about a little bit. And there we go. That's bored a little bit there, can you see? But I'm not going to let that bother me too much. I'll put that bit in the middle. So you can't see it. Um, so yeah, the next thing we want to do is we want to glue them on. So I've got two left to do because I took the opportunity while we paused to go ahead and do it. So obviously it's our box and then you lift it off and there's all of our little mini boxes inside. So it'd be nice to fill it with some little shred. Um, so what I've done was I've done the corners first. So wait until I just... Right, yes, yeah, so this one... As you can see so when i put that there you can see like the full picture so i've left the, the two of them on purpose so i'm going to take the lid off and then you just want to apply some glue when I mean, you could use hot glue um you could use double sided tape but the best thing about wet glue is it gives you that little bit of wiggle room so then on this mat that i put on here all i'm going to do is i'm just going to line that up at the very very corner just like that. Just get your bone folder in. And just press that down. And then put my lid back on. This one needs a little bit of work because this is the one we've just done, isn't it? Yeah, come on. There we go. And then this one will just fit. And what I'm going to do is, you can see, it's going to leave that little bit gap there just makes it easier to get the box the box lids on on and off I thought I'd do most of these boxes because you know you don't really want to sit and watch me putting every single one on do you so, yeah making sure that that gap's quite um, uniformed press that in and then pop your box on. So there we have my little, well, not quite so little, um, our explosion box with mini gift boxes inside. I don't know if that's going to be the official title or not, but um, yeah. 
so i hope you like it um something a bit different isn't it um and like i said anyone who's got any ideas on what you want to see us make then you know just feel free to leave a comment message me but it's quite a sturdy box now I mean, you could put something on the back as well if you wanted um but yeah so that's it i really really love how that's turned out and i think the papers just make it look absolutely amazing so thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and i will speak to you soon bye